Hello everyone. Today we are going to perform amplitude modulation in MATLAB. So let's start with the practical. You can see the code. See, initially we have written CLC, that is clear the screen, clear all, close all. If any window is open, so it will get closed with the close all option. Now, in amplitude modulation, we have two signal. One is modulating signal, another one is carrier signal. So modulating signal is given by MT is equal to EM cos of 2 pi FMT. So we have to declare the value of, assign the value of FM and EM. So EM is 0.5, FM is 0 0.05. T is from 0 to 50 with a difference of 0 0.1. And carrier is given by CT is equal to EC cos 2 pi FCT. So T is again the same, which is for modulating signal. That is from 0 to 50 with a difference of 0 0.1 between two numbers. And EC we have to declare. So we have assigned two volts to EC. And FC is the high frequency, so it should be greater than FM. So FM is 0 0.05, so carrier frequency will be 0 Please wait for a while so that we are resuming with that. So we have assigned different values. Now amplitude modulated signal is given by CT into 1 plus KA dot MT, where K is, you can say, modulation index. So we have considered that as 1. So CT, we have already, we know that CT is AC cross cos of 2 pi FCT, and which is your carrier signal, and MT is your modulating signal. So that will be given as with the equation MT is equal to AM cos of 2 pi FMT. Therefore, FM is 0 0.05 and T is from 0 to 50. Now, we have to plot three graphs on in one figure window. So we are going to divide the figure window into three parts. So three in first part, we are going to plot modulating signal. So we have written subplot 311. This is going to divide our figure window into three rows and one column. So this indicates three rows, one column, and plot is for empty. So in the first part, it is going to display the modulating signal. Second is subplot 3, 1, 2. So it is going to plot the carrier. And subplot 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 1, 3. So it is going to plot AM, that is amplitude modulated signal. So let's run this program and we'll check what, what the output we are getting. We will check what the output we are going to get. So you can see over here, this is our modulating signal, which is our information signal this is our carrier signal and this is our amplitude modulated signal so this is the practical of amplitude modulation on matlab i hope you have understood this thank you so much